Good morning, uh, good afternoon, and uh, to all the North South parents. Thanks for joining the science info session. Okay, um, so Maya is going to be our uh, presentation presenter. She has prepared these slides, um, so I'm going to introduce her now. So she's been uh, uh, North South uh, uh, um, participant since 2013. Um, she um, was placed, uh, uh, you know, third place nationally in the senior science on 2020, and uh, senior science third place in 2019, and uh, junior science in first place. And uh, not just not south, she has um, part of the science bowl, science olympiad, biology olympiad, um, etc. And third place in the Bay Area regional, you be the chemist challenge. She has also won multiple speech, uh, math, spelling, and brain bee competitions. So she is a baby of uh, information and experience. And uh, we uh, requested her to make a presentation based on that. Why science? Um, science is what makes up the world around us, right? It is how we understand and explain ourselves and the things around us. Uh, so these are just main basic things, uh, three types of uh, science, uh, which we already know, biology, chemistry, and physics. You know, biology is the study of living organisms, how they exist, the, what are their environments, etc. cetera. Um, human body is a subject in biology. Chemistry is the study of matter. Um, how particles in matter interact, how matter changes, form, etc. Uh, so physical and chemical changes would be a subject in chemistry. Physics is the study of motion, how different parts of an environment interact, what effect parts of a world have on each other, etc. Position, velocity, acceleration, astronomy are all in physics. Um, what do we do in North South Foundation? Uh, the goal of the Science B is to encourage participation in fields related to science. Uh, the idea is for you to, you know, be the science professionals in, in future, doctors, astronomers, and to instill a love for science and the world around us. I mean, as long as you're amazed by what is science, um, you you will have a very very positive outlook, and uh, it uh, gives a very good start in your lives, and uh, it will be a head start uh, on the peers because we will be covering a lot of advanced concepts that is not covered in your school. Um, so these are the different uh, science competitions uh, that is also uh, done. Um, we do have a brain bee contest that we have um, in North South, but uh, the other science contest, contest that our uh, North South children also attend are the science fairs, which most probably everybody of you would have done. But there are other um, uh, international uh, contests. There is science Olympiad, science bowls. Many schools participate in that, and there are many, many other science competitions that. So science uh, as a, a contest was introduced by um, a few of the peers here. Um, in 2010, uh, we have three levels of competitions for uh, junior science for grades one, two, and three, intermediate science for grades four and five, and the senior science uh, be for grades six, and seven, six, seven, and eight. Now we only offer these bees, most of these bees for middle school children, up to middle school children. Um, but uh, we do have um, uh, SAT and other things that is going on for high school children. But the contests are for uh, middle school, uh, up to middle school. The exam is online. It is only one phase, 30 questions in 30 minutes. So. That's it. Um, so you should be done uh, when you start it. You should be done. And this time it's going to be online. So you, all you're going to do is uh, multiple choice questions. 
So if you know the answer, you'll be done in like 20 minutes. Calculators are not allowed, um, but you can use scratch paper and all that. And that's one of the things about the video is that you, we will, there will be proctors monitoring you. There is no negative uh, points and uh, 1.4 each answer. So whoever gets 30, get, you know, is the winner kind of thing. Um, the syllabus is, I'm going to give it in the following sides, uh, but your chapter director will determine um, the ranks and all that. So for that kind of information, please contact the chapter director. We are planning to do a national finals, uh, but we are still working on it. Let's take a quick peek at the um, syllabus. Um, so the highlighted ones in yellow are only for intermediate and senior science. The bold is one um, is for uh, all three. Um, so as we go uh, the as we go on the uh, level of uh, the science, we kind of uh, make it uh, complicated. Um, so although the coverage would be uh, same for intermediate and senior, but the depth in which it goes is uh, different. So we have cells, uh, classification of living organisms, plants, animals, life processes, human body, ecosystem. So that's all life science. Then we have the earth science, geology, earth and space, oceans, weather. Physical sciences, matter, forces of motion, energy, and scientific inquiry, scientific methods, units and measurements, and presentation. So once again, the content depth depends on the level. Look at these specific syllabus in online. So these are the links that we have. There are PDFs for each of them. You can just go through them. Um, we do have these Megrahal books that are available. Um, you can also contact your chapter director. Sometimes they do have um, uh, books that they can uh, purchase for you guys on a, on a uh, um, you know, discount uh, rate and distribute it. Um, but however, it's very easy to get uh, these books in Amazon or McGraw books. Um, so these are the links actually that we recommend where these books are available. Uh, at one point of time, they were um, uh, allowing free access to these books, but I think now they're charging. Of course, there are other uh, links that you can use uh, where you can get all these information. So here's one that's our not south um, link that I just clicked on. So that's your um, here US activities. You go to contest. You go to regional contest. You can click on science here. You'll land on this page. It's got the general information. Rules are all there for each syllabus. That's where that download links were given. And preparation, it is giving you all of that. Um, it also has some frequently asked questions that, uh, the, that are answered there. So this will be a very good source to start with. We do not expect uh, somebody to just, you know, take the contest for the very first time and immediately ace all 30 questions. So don't worry if you you are uh, uh, not able to cover all the portions. Over a period of time, you will, and that's the idea. So we want to start you early. Don't give up in the middle. Continue until your eighth grade, and keep going. Okay, there are sample questions too, so those, that's are all given there. Um, we're going to quickly look at some um, sample questions. Uh, what system? So this is the junior science B question. What system in the human body consists of mostly bones? And I think everybody knows this. Is somebody typing out the answer? Nope. Okay, that's your skeletal, right? Matter is anything that has mass and volume, right? The term for an educated guess in the scientific method is it's a hypothesis. That's right. So this this one you would um, this particular uh, one you will have to write it down. 
but in the online contest this time we are not going to provide that we are going to provide multiple choice uh, answers now here are some for intermediate science b questions which one of these is not a type of energy and uh, that would be i'm not sure hey sai can you help me i think it's neutronal energy i think there is no neutronal energy so we got the kinetic energy potential energy and thermal energy hopefully that's what it is which of these is the biggest in the classification of organisms um so that's your uh, <coughs> order class and phylum um i have to remember my high school science which i don't all right so why science you might be thinking why not like a different a better option? that is an echo so christian you might have to go on mute without. It's, you may think science has no real world applications, but if you think about it, we are made up of science. All the things that we use are made up of science. The world around us, the planets, the stars, all of that, it's thanks to science. And science is how we understand and explain ourselves and the things around us. So if you're wondering what science is, here's a quick overview. There are three primary types, biology, chemistry, and physics. Biology is the study of us living organisms, how they exist, their environments. Like how can we think for ourselves? How can we move when other objects can't? That's what biology tells us. For example, the human body would be a subject in biology. Chemistry is the study of matter, how particles and in matter interact, how matter changes. So mostly objects that aren't living and then some objects that are, what, are, what makes up these objects? Like physical and chemical changes, how do objects change? That would be a subject in chemistry. And then physics is the study of motion, how different parts of our environment interact and what effect parts of our world have on each other. Like if you knock two things together, what happens? Position, velocity, and acceleration would be a subject in physics. Where are you? How fast are you going? How fast is that speed changing? All right, so the goal of the science fee is to encourage students' participation in fields related to science, such as becoming doctors or astronomers. Those are both fields that relate to biology and physics specifically, actually, and those are all about science. And it's to instill a love for science in the world around us and students. It's to see science as more than a boring subject that you learn at school. It also helps them get a head start on their peers when it comes to advanced science topics at school. You can learn a lot here at the Science Bee and you can use that at school. So some of the science competitions beyond North South Foundation are Things like science fairs, at like the Broadcom Master Science Fair. And then the USA and International Contest. There's a bunch of them, and some of them are the Biology, Chemistry, and Physics Olympiads. Then Science Olympiad is hands-on science events. Science Bowl is a bunch of science questions. Quiz Bowl is also another version of that. The International Brain Bee, that actually is an income passed in the North South Foundation Science Contest. There's a separate Brain Bee contest, but there's, also, there's a lot of overlap of information. And there are various other smaller science competitions, like the UV, the chemist competition that I participated in. So there's a lot, science goes way beyond North-South Foundation and what you learn at school. So some of the rules, this was introduced in 2010, the science fee. There are three levels of competition. Junior science fee, grades one, two, and three, intermediate, grades four and five, and senior, grades six, seven, and eight. They get harder as you go. It's a written exam only. It's one phase, 30 questions in 30 minutes. There are no calculators allowed. You use a test, test for scratch paper. You get one point for a correct answer and zero for incorrect answers. Very simple. I'll be talking about the syllabus, what you need to learn in following slides. And the national finals are to be decided this year. There, we're going to have national finals, but we don't know when they're going to be. So the syllabus. There are, so at first, I'm going to talk about the categories. The first two categories are life science and earth science. And out of those, juniors only need to know a few of them. Plants, animals, the human body, and e ecosystems, geology, space, and weather. And then once you move on to ISC, you start needing to know about cells, classification of living organisms, life processes, and earth. And then only senior science, the most detailed science bee, involves oceans as well. Let me give you a quick overview of what each one of these things is. is. Cells make up our body. It's what all our bones and muscles and everything is made of. And then the classification of living organisms is what, how are, uh, say, a cat and a lion similar? 
they're both in one of the same classifications. So you learn about the classifications, there's a bunch of them, and you figure out what animals fit into each classification and how those animals relate to each other. And then plants, that's self-explanatory. How do plants get their food? What do plants do? Are plants living? And then animals, animals like us, mammals, fish, other organisms like that. Life processes, like how do we digest, how do we eat, etc. And then the human body, what are our systems? Ecosystems, where do humans live? Where do other animals live? What surrounds us? And then earth science geology is the study of rocks. And then earth and space is how space and the earth that we live on interact with each other. Different changes in oceans, what happens in the ocean? What is the ocean made of? And then in the weather, what are these clouds doing here? What are thunderstorms, other things like that? And the content depth, even for these things, like plants, depends on each level. They're not gonna ask you the same questions in junior as they are in senior. The senior questions are going to be way harder than anything the juniors would be doing. You can move on to the next slide. All right, so the syllabus continued. So in this, there's another two categories, physical sciences and scientific inquiry. In this, the juniors need to know matter, forces, motion, energy, scientific methods, and presentation. And then only the senior science needs to know units and measurements along with that. Matter is just what makes up everything around us. Everything you see is made up of matter, and you can learn more about how that interacts with itself. And then forces and motion. Where are you? How fast you're moving? What makes you move that fast? Energy. What gives you the, what makes you able to move at all? What gives you the energy to make you move and how do you do it at all? And then scientific methods. You know that, that whole thing. Ask a question, make a hypothesis, plan and do a test, and then draw a conclusion from that test. You need to learn more in depth about each step of the scientific method. Units and measurements, like what is the measurement for how fast you're going or where you are or something like that. You have to learn that in senior science. And then presentation, how would you present all the things that you've done? How would you show this evidence? How would you show these experiments that you've done to the general public? And again, as I said, content depth depends on the level. They're not gonna ask senior science students the same things as junior science students. So you can study to your level. All right, here are some important links. The syllabi are just what I went over in really quick detail on the previous slides, more in depth, and it, it'll break these parts down into smaller parts and tell you exactly what to, you need to study. And then there are these McGraw-Hill books, which are great. A lot of schools teach these. I've given the highest McGraw-Hill book for each level, so if you study that, you should be all set, along with a few other things, of course. And then other resources. There are some quizzes at the Science Kids website. There are some National Science Bowl tips and resources. Those are for Science Bowl, but the resources are still useful for senior science. And then there's a ton of information at this North-South Foundation link that you could go to and get everything you need to study for these competitions. Next slide. All right, the, in, at these links, there are some sample questions that we can do. And let's review some sample questions now. I'll talk through the question and the answer for a couple of these. All right, what system in the human body consists of mostly bones? Now, you might think about it, you might think, oh, muscular, that's probably, you know, the muscles that we have, that seems to make sense. But what's the nervous system and what's the endocrine system? I've never heard of those. Well, see, you know the brain, right? The nervous system is the system that's in the brain and a little bit outside of the brain that takes in all the things that you're seeing around you, takes in all the things that you're taking in with the five senses and thinks about it and turns it into something you can interpret and understand. Like for example, it's the nervous system that takes you looking at the wall in front of you into your brain and tells you, oh, that wall is probably brown. And then the endocrine system is responsible for killing all sorts of bad particles that get into your body. Like if a pathogen or a virus, something bad, something that can infect you, were to get into your body, the endocrine system would kill it. So you can think, okay, so it's not those three. So it's probably the skeletal system, the skeletal system, the system that, consi that consists of bones and creates your structure. And then matter is anything that has mass and 
we've heard it, right? Said so it takes up space. Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. So another word for taking up space is volume. Matter is anything that has mass and volume. And then a short answer question. The term for an educated guess in the scientific method is, you choose, oh, I'm going to do this experiment, and then you choose to think, oh, this is probably what's gonna happen. That's called a hypothesis. All right, next slide. Okay, now these are intermediate science fee questions. They're a little bit harder. Which one of these is not a type of energy? Kinetic energy, potential energy, neutronal energy, and thermal energy. Now these may be a little bit harder. I'll tell you, kinetic energy is the energy of motion. It's the energy that you have when you're moving. And potential energy is the energy that you have that you could use to move. You're not using it to move, but you could use it to move. Like for example, if you're about to jump off uh, your bed or something like that, you have potential energy in that you're about to move and you're about to use energy to move. And thermal energy is simply the energy in heat. Like when you rub both your hands together, heat comes off, right? That heat is has energy in it and that's what you call thermal energy. Now, neutronal energy isn't something that actually exists. Neutrons are little particles in atoms, and they don't have a kind of energy named after them. So the answer would be neutronal energy. And then which of these is the biggest in the classification of organisms? The classification of organisms is something that you just have to know. It generally goes like this. Domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. So the biggest in the classification of organisms would be kingdom in this case. And then a short answer question, name Saturn's biggest moon. This is also another fact that you'd need to know. And the answer would be Titan. Okay, next slide. Senior science key questions. Now, what is the percentage of the stored energy in an organism that other organisms get by eating it? If you were to go up and eat a chicken right now, how much of the energy stored in that chicken would you get? Or if you were to eat a plant, how much of the energy stored in that would you get? The answer to this is actually 10%. Only 10% of the energy one of these organisms had is passed on to you by eating it. Then the second question, what kind of volcano is shown on the side? A fisherman, a shield volcano, a stratovolcano, or a lava dome? I can tell you that volcanoes are really big. You need to know these. And the kind of volcano shown on the side is more specifically a fissure vent. That's a fissure vent volcano. It's just magma coming out of a crack in the ground and turning into lava. It's like a fissure. Now, a short answer question, what is the name of the square used in heredity? That would be a Punnett square. Punnett squares help you look at what mother and father plants or animals look like and then decide what their offspring or their kids are going to look like using that. And you'll be learning it all soon. Don't worry if you don't know this. You can study and you can learn it all. Thank you, Maya. Appreciate uh, you providing all this uh, information. There's one question from someone asking if the syllabus and the test format same for regional and national contests. I believe in the national contests, there may be a little bit of a change. Like there might be two phases, but I'm not sure yet, as we already know that the national finals are still to be decided. So nothing is really confirmed yet, especially since they're probably going to be online this year. So there may be changes. Yeah, the format might change, but the syllabus remains exactly the same. There's not going to be any uh, new syllabus changes. Yeah, we, we don't have this uh, updated yet. Uh, <laughs> national. Finals. Okay, now I'm just going to show them the last year uh, uh, thing that's what I was saying, but I think the syllabus is the same. I, I agree. Yeah. And if you don't know, you can just go to North South, like I said, US activities, contests, regionals, click on science, everything is here. Syllabus is here, sample questions are here, preparation links are here, everything is here. There's more stuff here too. All of them have been verified. Okay, thank you, Maya. That was good. Okay, thank you, Jim. so um, like like we said, we are going to be this going to be online contest 
you will have a mock test later on uh, go ahead and please register we will be having our uh, region uh, the uh, deep dive workshops in uh, february and march uh, so it has not all been enabled if you go to your uh, 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 registration you can go and register on the online um, sessions too the upcoming sessions are also in the link to it available if you want to pull that up right so that's this is for science uh you can go there an online workshop on uh, this one you once again us uh, today's information sessions so science is today and then we have brain b geography vocabulary spelling impromptu speaking and history they will also once again go through a uh, overview of them we also have some meet the pro sessions or meet the professionals or the pros public relations officers of north south um these are uh, uh, kind of a town hall kind of uh, sessions that we have with the uh, participants from previous years some champions from previous years um and once again you we will put the recording link out here too this will be replaced tonight um i think we do have the b workshop schedule put up no not yet but uh, we just updated the b workshops the schedule will show up here soon but the in, um, for science there are three sessions that are already uh, <clears throat> scheduled yeah, if you can see the G junior sciences on uh, February 6th, senior sciences on March 6th, and intermediate sciences on March 13th. Those are the three dates of the workshop. So go to um, your um, account, parent account, not so parent account, and uh, you can um, uh, click on register for online workshop, and you can register there. Um, I do not have any other uh, thing to say. Uh, Sai, any final words or anything? Um, one quick point. I just wanted to mention that, uh, reiterate what you mentioned before, which is uh, uh, parents should register as soon as possible so they have um, access to the materials and as well as uh, also they can get on the right time slot that they really want to. Okay, thanks for attending. Thanks, Maya, for your uh, uh, quick uh, turnaround and uh, providing all this information. Uh, no good problem. luck to you thank guys. You okay, yeah. thank you. So, thank good you, luck Maya. to you all, parents and children. We are closing this session now.